Hi guys, so it's been a minute since I've sat down and actually filmed the video. Um, the last video that you guys have seen was actually my engagement video, so um, yeah, it's definitely been a while, but I just wanted to say I'm alive and doing well. Um, I still can't believe that I'm engaged. <laughs> there it is. It's crazy. Uh, and I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your really sweet comments and wish, kind wishes and stuff, and um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little life update. So. As you guys know, um, it happened in Tahoe, and um, honestly, I wasn't really surprised. I kind of knew about it uh, beforehand because I was really bad, and I was uh, checking emails and you know doing things I shouldn't be doing and being really sneaky. And I didn't like see the ring beforehand, but I had gone with Corey like a year before to look at rings, so I gave him kind of like an idea of what I liked. And yeah, I was really bad. I 10 out of 10 do not recommend acting like I acted because. Um, you know, it's fun being surprised and not knowing, um, you know, and I basically even knew that it was going to happen that weekend because Corey was like, hypothetically, if I propose this weekend, would your family be upset that they're not there? And I said, no, they wouldn't. They just like to celebrate when we get home. So like I knew and, um, you know, that's why I painted my nails and everything. And um, yeah, you know, it wasn't like a crazy surprise, but what was a surprise was the fact that our friends were behind us the whole time. I had no clue that they were behind us and that they were filming everything. I was so shocked and Corey was like, I had a microphone the whole time. And it was funny because I was saying some weird stuff on the hike uh, that we had to edit out. <laughs> um, so I'm happy. Uh, so I had no clue that he had me mic'd. Good thing I didn't say anything too crazy, but yeah, uh, that was really funny. And then um, I was just, I was acting so awkward at the top because I was like, this is it, he's gonna do it. And I didn't know when he was gonna do it or how he was gonna do it. And then he just uh, did it and it was the cutest thing ever. It was the sweetest words I've ever heard Corey say. So, um, you know, it was really sweet. I started crying <laughs> as you guys saw in the video. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited. We've been together for four years. We've known each other for five. Um, he's been like my best friend throughout like uh, undergrad, throughout medical school. And, um, you know, I just, I've known for a super long time that he's my soulmate. He like literally, is my best friend. He's super easy to talk to. We get along. We can nerd out together. And we love to do fun activities together. Travel. We have like Hazel together now. You know, we've just been slowly moving towards progression of, you know, hopefully getting married and having a future together and having children eventually. So yeah, um, it's really exciting when you finally meet the love of your life. Um, it's different for me than like the movies or the books and stuff that I used to read. It's not all like crazy and stuff. Um, you know, it's just like comes natural. I don't know. It wasn't like this crazy passionate like, oh, I don't know if I should be with him, if I should be with him. For us, it was like this really, like really beautiful friendship that like bloomed into something more. And um, I just love our relationship and, you know, I'm excited for our future together. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys again for being so sweet about that. And um, I feel like that's the most you guys have ever heard Corey say before either because he like never wants to film videos with me. So yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you hear biting um, or chewing in the background, it's, cool. it's Hazel chewing on her bone. She likes to hang out when I um, study at my desk and stuff. So Hazel's been doing really good. Uh, she is seven months old now and um, she's just growing. She's just still chewing everything um, in sight. And by everything in sight, it's usually just her fingers and um, some socks. She's really good about not chewing furniture or anything like that. So we got really lucky with her and she does not seem to be interested in that. Um, and yeah, she's doing good. She loves to like meet and play with other dogs now. She's super friendly. She loves my parents. Um, she loves her, all of our friends. She loves running around in their, my parents' backyard. Um, I feel really bad that we are stuck in an apartment, but hopefully next year we'll be able to get a house wherever we end up and um, she can have her own little backyard. But yeah, well, we love her still. She's the best dog. I don't know how we got so lucky with her, but uh, I'm just so happy we ended up getting her. And then um, other life update, as you guys know, uh, Corey and I are in our fourth year of medical school, which is insane. I don't understand how time went by so quickly that we're finally applying for residency. Um, so we've honestly been really busy with that. We've been working on applications. There's a lot to do for ERAS. Um, you know, we've been trying to practice for interviews because it's going to be virtual this year and uh, it's going to be different. I think I'm kind of excited for it because I'm used to talking on the camera with uh, YouTube and stuff, so hopefully I'm good at it, uh, but we'll see. I'm, I still need to practice because if I don't know what I'm saying, I usually just sit and stare and I have no clue what to say, so I'm going to have to practice <laughs> for sure. Um, 
Well, yeah, it's been a weird year um, with COVID. We did not have any away rotations. We're not going to have any like in-person interviews. So everything's uh, been virtual so far, except for clinicals. We've been able to actually do our electives at um, the hospital. So we started back up in June and we've been going, going, going. So I looked and I'm actually more than halfway done with my fourth year. Um, I believe I have 24 um, credits total, so I'm at 14 now, which is crazy. Um, I can't believe it. I've been really loving all of my electives. I um, did my sub I already, and that was really fun. I'm going to give you guys a video about how to succeed on your sub I soon. And I did a women's health elective these past two weeks. I loved it. I really love women's health. I am honestly maybe interested in pursuing women's health after I finish my family medicine residency. So we'll see how that goes. But I do really love it. I enjoy it so much. And I definitely want to have that incorporated into my future practice. But yeah, I am applying family medicine. I am very excited about my decision. I've honestly known that I want to do family for so long. You guys know that. I looked at one of my high school videos and I was saying family medicine back then too, which is super cool. So yeah, still family medicine. And, you know, there's been people that have been questioning it and, you know, asking me, um, you know, don't I want to specialize? And yeah, I just, I've just stuck with my decision. I want to do family and don't let other people try to persuade you to do otherwise. Um, you know, but do what you're passionate about, and that's what I'm passionate about. I love, um, I just love the concept of family medicine. I love that you're able to build relationships with your patients. You take care of the whole family. Uh, you are the first doctor that people usually see. You can take care of pre preventative issues. There's so many things I love about it, and you know, um, at the end of the day, it's not about how much you make. It's about what you love. So just remember that, and don't listen to other people. Um, but yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be applying a lot of West Coast schools. I really want to stay here around the West Coast. Um, you know, I wouldn't be upset if I ended up here in Las Vegas. Honestly, I love being close to my family, and I love being close to Alex. And, um, yeah, that might be an option, too. We will see. That's what we've been working on. Um, just brushing up our personal statement, asking for a lot of recommendations, um, working on our CV and stuff like that. So we've been keeping really busy. And um, it's kind of why I've been MIA from YouTube. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update of what's been going on with our fourth year. Um, I am super excited. I cannot believe we're almost done. It's crazy. And I'm excited to see where we're going to end up next year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And take care. And I will see you guys soon.